ลอลอลอลอลอดเรมีฟาโซลาติดาสลาติดโด I'm not a music guy. All right, welcome to Parts Bin. In this episode, we're talking about this Hamilton 6.7 replacement block. So this is a very cool replacement block for a 6.7 liter Cummins. Um, there's a lot of upgrades. If you have a 6.7 liter Cummins, there may be some reasons you may consider getting this rather than reusing, reusing your stock block. And Will's going to tell you some of the reasons why this is actually better than a true 6.7 Cummins block. The first thing I hit on is head fasteners. A factory 6.7 has 12 millimeter, is drilled and tapped for 12 millimeter bolts or studs if you upgrade. This block comes right from Hamilton with 14 millimeter uh, threaded holes, so it's ready for 14 millimeter hardware. Now tell us in your experience, what's the cheapest head stud that you can hold a lot of power with? Oh, 14 millimeter. You get you can get this ARP 625, and they're crazy expensive. You get a 14 millimeter head stud for hundreds of dollars less, way more power than a 12 millimeter head stud. No they hold question. more. They hold more power. They're stronger, faster. Oh, you, you everything's better. You can feel it when you're torquing a head. When you're torquing something up high, you can really feel is that fastener strong or is it starting to give? On a 14 millimeter fastener, they are rock solid. And they, I just really like them. Okay. Big fan. The second thing, let's talk about the mains. The mains on a factory common rail or pretty much a 1998 and newer, even those. Those uh, 24 valve Cummins, they have 12 millimeter hardware for the mains. What does this block have? 14 millimeter, as every good block should. And once again, every competition block, they always drill and tap the mains for 14. Really essential, you're making a lot of power. But in a factory lap application, 14 is still good. In fact, Cummins originally started with 14, what, back in 86 on the first back or whatever, but on the trucks, you yeah, know, in 89. Storm block. They upgraded it because they gave you an extra oil drain, which is cool, and then they downgraded it because they want that 12 millimeter hardware for your main caps. Probably to save money, I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm sure, but uh, yeah, every race engine we've ever done, we've done 14 millimeter hardware. We, we'll take a storm block and we'll drill and tap for the 14 millimeter hardware because it just keeps everything in place so much better. Bearing life is way better. The last upgrade on this, if you're like an old 12 valve guy, the only cam bushing that actually has a bushing that isn't just the cast iron is the front one. Um, on this block, they've put bushings in all seven journals. What that means is you can run a steel camshaft, which is stronger than a cast camshaft, um, has a little bit of better wear resistance in my opinion because it's a little stronger material, yep. and uh, it's just all ready for it. In the past, would you have to pay for that? Four, five hundred dollars. Sometimes up to eight hundred dollars. And the reality is, enabled to be able to bore all these the same, you know, line so it's perfectly straight. There's not a lot of machine shops around that have that capacity. There's none around here. We have to go clear to Salt Lake to get that service. And so it's actually pretty difficult to do. You'll probably find, hey, we have a lot of calls of guys asking us, where do you do this? It's really hard to do. So the fact that this block comes with it saves you a big headache if you want to run a steel cam. Now these come standard as a 4210 bore, which is a standard size 6.7 bore. So if you have a 5.9, you've got to get new pistons if you're going to run this, if you're upgrading your old 5.9. But you can run your 5.9 uh, crank in this, so it will work. You're going to need an 80,000th longer rod. Most guys are like, heck, let's, let's run the 6.7 crank because you know I want the cubic inches anyway if I'm going to build an engine of this caliber. But yep, yep. But all said and done, the way this block comes ready, it's probably $2,000 worth of machine work. So you end up with a whole block for just a little bit more than that. Why would you spend all that time butchering up a stock used block to do that? Yeah. And you can buy a brand new one ready to go. This is pretty neat. It's pretty fun to have offerings in the aftermarket that we don't have to rely on Cummins stuff. And so anyway, that is this block. It's gonna get used in a build. You're gonna see it in one of these episodes upcoming. And um, yeah, I hope you learned something about this block. Thanks for joining us here in Parts Bin. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks.